Hell of a thing. Black woman assaulted. Prosecutors refused to prosecute, to charge, put it up full mass. This is a hell of a story with a lot of twists and turns. In Duluth, Minnesota, the St. Louis County Attorney's Office reportedly declined to pursue charges against the two white men who assaulted the 39 year old Michelle Folson, a black woman. This happened at a local bar on Tuesday, September 12th. But the Duluth City Attorney's Office says they will be seeking justice. Keep a picture up. It's hard to look at, I know. But I want you to understand you have what's called concurrent jurisdiction here. The city has jurisdiction as well as the county. The county says, oh, no crime here. City says, I'll be down. It's an absolute crime. And we will seek justice. The attack left Ms. Folsom with traumatic brain injuries that could lead to an impediment with cognitive ability. Ms. Folsom posted the images of her injuries on Facebook, sharing she was left unconscious outside the West Duluth establishment. The rustic bar. The Duluth Police Department said the city's lawyer, the city's lawyer, not the county, the city's lawyer, will charge Scott Rabold, 41, and Mylon Griak, 56, both of Duluth with fifth degree assault after the county office refused to do so and did not give comment on why. Officials in Duluth believe there is enough evidence to get a successful conviction for the charges put forth by the city attorney. Pointing mostly to surveillance video of the assault from inside of the rustic bar. Folson also posted images of a bloodstained shirt and glasses, which she said resulted from the attack at the rustic bar. Folson's clothes and shoes reportedly had drag marks on them showing she had been dragged by her side. On September 18th, the DPP released a statement saying the footage shows the victim, Michelle Folsom, 39, and another woman having a conversation that turned physical. That's when two males became involved in the confrontation and assaulted the female. The statement continued according to Bring Me the News. When she finally woke up, after being jumped by the men, these feckless cowards. She found herself alone in the dark parking lot of the bar. The victim gathered herself, walked about four to five minutes to reach her daughter, believing her child would help her. Her daughter created a GoFundMe page to detail the incident, which she believed should be classified as a hate crime, and I agree. The daughter says her mother's teeth went through her lip. She had swollen black eye, a gash between her eyebrows, and her head was swollen and blood was everywhere. Quote, I called 911 right away. They rushed her to the hospital and the ambulance to treat her injuries. It is known that some of the situation took place in the bar, and they never called the police or helped my mother. Natasha Kabir wrote. When police arrived, according to one report, they rushed Ms. Folsom to the hospital in the ambulance. Officers watched the bar surveillance footage, which depicted Folsom being assaulted by the men who knew the woman she was arguing with before they intervened. The two women will not face charges. Community leaders and activists are calling for the men to be held accountable, noting that witnesses said, that no one at the bar even tried to call 911 or step in to intervene. They also said the on duty bartender had blood washed off the premises before the authorities arrived. Lock their asses up, the tampering with evidence. Sue them for providing a hostile environment, for engaging in contributory negligence, for premises liability. And then the police officer who decided to do exactly what the bar did, a for-profit company. Not a damn thing. This is so sad. 
black women are the most, they are the most undervalued demographic to so many, but not here. So we go out of our way to make sure we highlight these stories to create transparency for the sake of just everyone involved in this, from the bartender who did nothing to the officers who decided there was no crime, to the county prosecutor who said they're not going to charge anybody and the city having to do a WTF moment and say, yes, we will, if you're not, which is rare. We're going to follow this story as it continues to develop. We'll follow this story till its completion. Jackson, thoughts here. And as you pointed out, it is rare for the city to step up when it doesn't necessarily particularly have to, because I mean, this was attempted murder. They just flat out tried to kill this woman. Like there's no, the way that they beat her, they dragged her, they they had murder on their minds. Uh, I mean, there's no, and even if they didn't, what's the excuse? Oh, she hurt my feelings. She, she said something to me. There's no way that you can make this look good, but definitely anything that can be milked and squeezed out of this absolutely should be. Um, it, because this is just shameful. Uh, they they tried to kill this woman, and they had a great time doing it. And mm-hmm. as I say often, this is who prison is for, people like yep. this. That's right. That's right. That part right there. All right, we will bring you um, the updates as justice is sought.